interested in getting tickets to a concert or sporting event, use SeatGeek and get $20 off on your next purchase with promo code OVERSPORTS. That's O-B-E-R-S-P-O-R-T-S, OVERSPORTS. What's going on, guys? Jacob Ober here coming with my reactions to Brewers versus Braves NLDS Game 1. The Brewers take this one 2-1 to one in a really, really intense pitching matchup between Corbin Burns and Charlie Morton. Both of them go six innings. Burns gives up zero runs. Charlie Morton gives up two runs on a Rowdy Chalez two-run home run. That gave the Brewers the lead for good. Uh, Jock Peterson homered in, I believe it was the top of the eighth, uh, to pull the Braves within one. Uh, but uh, Josh Hader comes in for the ninth and nails it down in a very, very stressful and intense ninth inning. But he notches his first career postseason save. And uh, how ironic it is that the final out of that game was Orlando Arcia, the same guy who got a walk off fielder's choice for us on opening day to this on opening day this year, which seems like literally eons ago. Uh, and here he is coming up NLDS game one. Uh, runners at the corners, down one, two outs, and he's the final out for the Brewers. Grounds out to Wong to end the game. But, man, that was an intense one. That Rowdy Tellez home run, definitely up there for all-time Brewers postseason moments, especially if they win this series, and especially if they advance to you know the World Series or even win the World Series. That one is going to be remembered in Milwaukee for sure. But, man, I mean... People who don't like the pitching matchups, though, I mean, obviously, you know, it's kind of frustrating for uh, you being a fan of a team and seeing your offense get dominated, but that was just a really, really good pitching matchup. I mean, we saw everything from Charlie Morton. He was fantastic through six innings, uh, and then along comes Rowdy Tellez, and one swing of the bat, and the Brewers have the lead, and that was the difference, you know. If Rowdy Tellez doesn't hit that home run, the Brewers probably lose this game one nothing. so... Um, yeah, <laughs> really, really intense baseball game that definitely took some years off my life. And I know that I don't do many Brewer videos lately. Uh, you know, I know I used to do one after like every thrilling win or whatever in the regular season back in 2018, 2019. But, you know, I like the postseason ones the best. And, you know, I feel like, you know, the postseason reaction videos are the most warranted. So I think that's what I'm going to stick with for the Bucks and the Brewers. Uh, and a pa the Packers, of course, I'll always react to their games because the Packers' regular season is shorter and uh, games obviously mean a lot more in a 16-game regular season. If that game, though, was indicative of how the rest of the playoffs are going to go for the Brewers, um, I mean... I might I might shave a solid three or four decades off my life. I mean, that was just, wow. Needed to catch my breath for sure. But they got the win. It's all that matters. Thrilling game. And I'm going to be in attendance tomorrow for game two at AmFam Field. So probably won't get my reactions out tomorrow, at least not immediately. Uh, maybe I'll do a video from the stadium uh, and upload it, a really short one, like me celebrating or something, like right after the final out or whatever if we win. Uh, if we lose, probably a different story. Probably won't get a video out, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, obviously hoping we win again tomorrow. And knowing that we survived Charlie Morton's uh, incredible start up until the Rowdy Tuez two-run home run, I mean, that, that feels really, really good uh, because, you know, knowing I, I truly feel, you know, it's like it's Morton and then, Max Freed tomorrow, and those are like their two aces, so to survive a, a pitching uh, performance like Charlie Morton's was tonight, I mean, that's just it's huge, uh, and definitely puts you in a good position for tomorrow, too, and the Brewers have a lot of guys on the roster who can crush lefties, so hopefully um, this next game is a Brewers win and not as stressful as tonight for sure so um anyways guys that's all i got to say in this video just kind of wanted to share my thoughts after the uh, postseason victory hopefully this is the first of many victories this postseason on our way to a world series title and if it was then what a way to kick it off but in the meantime guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time go brew crew